Come on in, welcome to my home. Today we are going to talk about my November favorites. Like, wow, November came up so, so quick. All right, so these are things that I've actually had. Like, I mean, even though they're my November favorites, they actually came in in October, but that's a whole nother issue. Okay, so let's get into this and talk about some of the things which I'm, I've been loving. These are things that I've gotten from Amazon of Vine, where I'm given these items to test out for free and give my honest opinion of them. So yeah, didn't pay for them. However, these are things that I'm actually using and I think I'll continue to use for a very, very, very long time. Let's start with the first one, which is this lantern. This is the Lonella 16-inch Large Vintage Marine Style Decorative Lantern. It can be used indoors or outdoors. It came with a battery-operated uh, candle inside, which I took out simply because I have those rechargeable candles that we've talked about earlier. So I just put that in there, and then I can operate it off of the remote from those, recharge the candles, and I don't have to worry about batteries and that sort of thing. So it really is nice. Now, what do I like about it? The size is great. 16 inches is the t total size of it. Uh, it feels heavy. It gives a nice diffused light, and I like the look of it. It is definitely a dark blue with those white off, I think they're more off-white accents. I do really like this. I think it stands out where I have it, and I can move it anywhere. Now, I could put the battery lantern part back in, because, yeah, I did save it, uh, so that, that way I can then use it wherever I want it to. I think that this can be used indoor and outdoor. However, I would not leave it outdoors. I would move it back indoor if it were if the weather were to turn. But it is so nice, it lights up everything really well, and I really like the look of it. So this is one of the things that I definitely, definitely, definitely would say, this is a keeper. The adjustable plant stand. This one was purchased specifically for this. I purchased this plant stand because I knew that I had my Christmas tree, which I had been putting up on a milk crate. A cheap milk crate and it was never ever all that secure wasn't I, I never felt like it was I felt like it was going to topple over at any time so I saw this plant stand I saw the size that my uh, tree stand was and I knew that the plant stand would be the perfect size for it it can go up to I think this one is 8 to 12 inches and I was like well do they what what does that exactly mean it's adjustable. It really is adjustable. On the bottom of the plant stand, there are screws that you can then slide the legs. They slide in and out. Uh, it comes with Allen wrench, an Allen wrench and the screws. It is a nice height. You can adjust it to be lower with the feet down at the bottom, with the smaller, shorter feet down at the bottom and the longer legs sticking up or switch it around so you have the longer legs sticking up in the feet. You get the whole idea. It is secure. That's what I like about this, is I do not feel like my tree is going to fall over at any moment. I do like the, the style of it. I like the way it uh, holds everything, and the fact that you can actually then put whatever you wanted on the bottom of it. It has little rubber stoppers that you can put so that you can keep your uh, legs of your plant stand up off of whatever flooring that you had or you can put it on a counter, or you can put it wherever you want it. Um, I think that this is one of those things where this just makes me happy. In fact, right now, as we speak, and that's probably the pictures I've shown you, the tree is outside in my... outside? <laughs> the tree is in my garage on the plant stand, and it works. It works so well. I am not worried about the tree toppling over, and I mean, think about this. This is a six-foot-tall tree in a plant stand. It is not tippy toppy that sort of thing this is going to work really well it makes me happy and i really am glad that i bought this let's talk about this luxury towel warmer all right i have had a towel warmer before in fact that towel warmer my mom now has because i got this towel warmer to test out and can i be honest I have the better towel warmer. Yeah, I feel slightly guilty that I gave her a towel warmer, which works just fine. It is a great towel warmer and everything, but this one heats the towels, I think, faster. It heats them up a bit more, 
and it's a bit smaller. I like the look of it. It has that wood texture on the top of it. It, it really is. It's really nice. And if you want to put like uh, oil on it, like scented oil, inside the lid, there is a nice spot where you can put your drops of oil and that way it can then scent your towels because we're talking, we're talking warm lavender scented towels are what I'm into right now. And oh my, once you get out of the shower, you're like, this is heaven. This is absolutely wonderful. Uh, they do recommend a couple things. One of them, which is, if it is not in use, unplug it, which just makes sense. It does use a three-prong American-style uh, plug, uh, so I don't know what that means for other countries. Uh, it, it really does. It works well. It has, you can control how long the timer runs for it, but I like the fact that it just heats up and so when I put the lavender oil in the lid, it still smells. I mean, like we are talking, it's now been a week since I did the lavender oil. Yeah, it's been a week since I did the lavender oil. And the lid smells of the lavender oil. Now that is something to think about. If you scent your towels and you want to scent them with a different scent all the time, yeah, yeah, you're going to have to think about that. It might be better to scent the towel itself rather than to scent the lid simply because I found that so far I have not been able to get that scent off the lid. However, I do like the smell of lavender, so I am all for this. This is great for me. It does not seem to use too much electricity. I haven't noticed any major jump in my bill. Yeah, I've been watching the bill, making sure, see how much electricity I consume. Uh, the one thing I will tell you is it is, I like to start my towel warmer before I even consider taking a shower. If you're going to take a shower, take a bath, heat it up before so that the timer runs out just as you're getting out of the uh whatever you're washing in like bathtub shower and that way you have your nice warm towels they are very very warm i'm telling you this right now it is since it's now cold it is just so nice to have this wonderful scented towel uh i highly recommend this and it might make a great christmas gift but i'm not getting into that yet but yeah this is one of my favorites for november all right, we're going to talk about the wise plugs. I have wise plugs in my house, like lots of different places, because it is one of the things that I use to control my lights. And it's really nice to be able to turn things on and off. And why am I bringing this up? Well, because my Christmas decorations are going to go out pretty soon. You know what that means? If you're one of these people who hates to have to figure out, well, where am I going to plug things in? Am I going to have to crawl around on the floor? I use the wise plugs so that I can turn on and off of my Christmas lights, so I can set everything up, have it go, and it is great to be able to do this. The other part about this is it has a little push button on the side so that you can manually turn it on and off, or you can turn it on with your app on your phone, or you can turn it off with your voice control. This is really cool. I can say I love this thing. These can use a three-prong American plug or two prong and i really do and these now these are not dimmable this is the what i have is just on and off because i've used the lights that i have are dimmable so i didn't need the plugs to be dimmable i like them <laughs> i'm going to use them like everywhere especially with the christmas lights it's going to be really nice to just be able to with one command i can turn on and off all of my christmas lights that makes me happy Okay, this one makes it on the list, however, there's a caveat. This is a king size waffle, uh, what is it called? It's a waffle striped king size blanket. Now, here's the caveat. If you can see how this hangs on my bed, you will notice that it does not seem to truly be king size. I have a queen size bed, if that were king size, it would barely cover the bed. So that is something to think about. But that being said, I love this thing. It is nice and warm. It washed really well. Um, and it just gives an extra texture to the bed. 
that's one of the things I like about it. I'm not using it as a blanket, which it might be why it's smaller, because you're just used, supposed to be using it as a blanket. I'm using it more as a bedspread, so the king size really worked for me. I do really think that it is nice. It is soft. It is warm. It does not feel like it's one of those, like, I, I recently had a bedspread come to me that just felt itchy and crunchy even after washing this. Now when I washed it, I did wash it in cold water simply because it is cotton and you know if you wash cotton in hot water it will shrink, right? You, you know that. I'm sure you know that. But it washes nicely. I put a softener in the, yeah, softener in the laundry. So yeah, this is, it, and I like the color. It comes in many different colors. All of these items are linked down below in the description, and probably some of them are on the shelf that you're seeing. Yeah, but they, I think they look really nice. The expandable colanders, that was something I was that was unexpected. Okay, so everybody has a colander, right? You know, the thing that you strain things, you drain them, you rinse them out, and that sort of thing. Well, these fit across your sink. You're saying, well, what big difference does that make? If you have ever drained anything into a colander in your sink, and it's like my metal one, it goes around the drain of the sink, which then the sink fills with water because you've made that thing. Uh, you've made that drain plugged. Makes sense, right? Well, this just sits there on top of the sink, so everything that you wash through it washes through it. It goes right through. It is adjustable to the size of the sink that you have. You get enough of them that they're, I mean, you can give them away as gifts. These are very nice. The holes are a good size so that everything can drain quickly. The other thing I liked about this was the fact that while you are letting things, like if you let it stay in there to dry, I guess, uh, it will. It will still drain down and everything, and you can move it. The thing which I do always said is the fact that, you know, you can move this wherever you want to. You can use it however you want to, and it's just nice. It's just nice to have things up. If you are doing things like peeling potatoes, that sort of thing, you can have, because I, I found when I peel potatoes, I peel them over the garbage disposal, if I'm going to use the garbage disposal, or I peel them with a bowl in the sink so that way I can take the peels and put them into my uh, composter. And they're up out of the way, they're not sitting in the sink, they're not taking up too much room. And this is just a nice way to do this. I really do like it. And I would say, yeah, you should try one. You might, you might really love it. The waterless oil diffuser uh, is king. <laughs> I mean, this thing is great. Here's what I'm telling you. The one, the way I have mine set up right now, I had a larger bottle of uh, essential oil. This one's not an essential oil. This is a scented oil. Right now, it's pumpkin patch in there. It's that time of year. So then you just sit the little tube down into it. You can set timers, you can set the amount of scent that you want, and it's rechargeable. I have found that I've been using this thing for like a month, and I've only had to charge it up one time. I don't let it run 24-7 because, yeah, you can really get a lot of scent out of it. I like the fact that I can use my essential oil without water. That is really nice because the amount of, it, it's not a humidifier. This is an essential, essential oil diffuser, so there's a nice amount of mist that comes out of it. It is handy. Now, you can pour your oil into the jar that comes with it. I found that I had another glass that would just sit around it. It worked really well. It looks really nice. It is. It does have a sound to it. which isn't bad because it's not running all the time. It is really nice and it does fill up the, I have mine in my bathroom, fills up the bathroom with a nice fragrance. This one is, this one's really cool. This is sort of surprising. I love the rustic look to it. A lot of people might not be into it. I like the rattan. It's nice and round. It has those leather grips on the handles. It just fits into probably all, any style that you might want it. Uh, it is very sturdy, and that's the thing which I liked about it was the fact that it is sturdy, that you could actually use it as a tray. I'm using mine more as a decorative 
Trey. Yeah, but I'm not actually carrying things with this. I think that this is one of those things that you could have anywhere in your house, any style, loaded up with things, and it just looks really nice. Uh, eventually, I'll put real plants in there, but yeah, this is really cool. I think you're going to like it, and I think if you were to give this as a present, why am I doing the whole, there is a gift guide coming, so don't worry about presents right now. But I think this is one of those things that I th anybody's style, it would match. So that's it's really nice. Okay, so that's it. That's my favorites for this month. These are, like I said, these are things that I have been using, I use a lot, I am enjoying them, and I think that they would add just a little bit more ease or a little bit more comfort to my life, the plant stand for the Christmas tree, it, it's just cool. I mean, it will make my life so, so much easier. I think that you might l like these. If you have other questions about them, let me know down in the comments. But these were my favorites for November. I'd like to take this time to thank these wonderful people who are part of my Patreon and my channel members. If you'd like to become one of them and get the behind the scenes stuff, I could do a weekly vlog, get the behind the scenes stuff that's going on in my life. And you'll also get these videos early. Uh, you can then join that. If you would also like to help this channel, you can like and share this content. Don't forget to subscribe. That way it lets YouTube know that more people should be seeing this. And I think if you do try one of these, let me know because I find that I really like them. You might like them too, and I'd love to hear your opinion. I hope you enjoyed this, and I want to thank you again, and I hope I get to see you again the next time you stop by.